We're on a roll with our sub demos. This one's a little bit different. Now this is something that's been on my radar to put on the channel for a little while now because it is an absolute powerhouse of a shallow subwoofer enclosure. A new product from Hertz, the MPBX 300 S2. So as normal, we're going to do our sound test in the EP3, uh, but first let's take it upstairs and do an in-depth view. Let's run through the text and specs of this enclosure because something like this is a perfect setup for someone that's not looking to use loads of space in their boot, but really wants a lot of base. So we've got everything on the table here, including what you get in the box. So let's quickly go through it. So the main features you'll get in the box are, you'll get the feet that you can add to the box, and we'll cover that in a moment. You'll get a little removal tool to get these caps off, and you also get the speaker smart plug. Now, the enclosure itself. So this is the 12 inch model, the 300 S2. It's a very, very slim line box, a sealed enclosure. So it's not ported, it's a sealed box and it's a very slim line design. And like I say, with the feet, you add the feet onto each corner. So essentially the feet would sit like this and they bolt in and these are Velcro feet. So you can fire this up downwards, have the Velcro feet stops it from sliding around everywhere. And that basically sits on each corner. It may be a wide box, but it's very slim. So you can lay it down on the floor and you can still put stuff on top of it. And it still performs fantastically. You can also fire this facing upwards if you'd like. Now, what I tend to find is it firing downwards reflects base off the floor. It's gonna reproduce the base a little bit more accurately, I would say, but it's up to you, however you wanna put it into the vehicle. So specs wise, the sub itself is 500 watt RMS and 1000 watt peak. So fantastic power output from a very shallow sub like this. It also plays down in the 12 inch, plays down to 25 Hertz. That is kind of unheard of from a shallow subwoofer. Um, for this price point as well, it's absolutely fantastic. Obviously they don't make this as an active sub, so you will have to buy a separate amplifier for this, purely for the fact that it's quite powerful, 500 watt RMS. Now this is actually one of my favorite shallow subwoofers in terms of output, sound quality, frequency response, all of the above. This is a fantastic product. Any car that I put this in, the customer is always wowed by the actual output of this and just the quality and depth that it can go down to. It's a similar product to the Audison shallow box, so the APBX, a slightly smaller box and they don't make it in a 12. So if you wanted to step up, go for a bit more power and a bit more surface area, you could go for something like this. And this, I'll be honest, blows it out of the water. Okay guys, so that's enough waffling about it now. Let's actually take it downstairs, try it in the EP3 and I can give my personal opinion of what I think it looks and sounds like. So installation for something like this is very simple. Uh, for this car in particular, we've already got an amplifier installed. So in terms of wiring it up, it's very, very simple. It's literally just two speaker cables that are going in. Uh, you've got a positive and a negative. And now, if you don't have an amplifier, obviously that's something you'll need to purchase on top. You need to look for something that's about 500 watts RMS at two ohm. But we've got an amplifier already in here. So we've wired it up to the speaker cable. Let's shut the boot, jump in and have a listen. Okay guys, so we're in the car, ready to test it. We've got our Royalty Free music loaded up, the normal track that we listen to at the normal volume. So let's give it a play. She like me, oh. she might be what I need. She gets twice, gonna taste this, come by me. Yeah. Hold on, let me start that again. That was ridiculous. That is so much bass. She like me, she might be what I need. She gets twice, gonna taste this, come by me. That is unreal. Not even just the pure amount of bass that is actually coming out, it's the depth that it gets to as well. It drops really, really low and you've got a proper thumping bass there as well. Obviously this being the 12 inch is gonna drop really, really low, but it's still gonna kick really well as well. So, I mean, straight off the bat, I'm massively impressed, but let's change the track to something a little bit different, different genre. Right, so I've just gone through a couple of other tracks that unfortunately aren't royalty free, so you can't hear them, but listening to proper music with proper bass in it, it is 
unreal how accurate this sub is and the amount of output that you actually get out of it is really, really good. Now, in a small hatchback like this, it performs extra well because obviously it's such a small area to play in. But any car, like I said, any car that I've put this in has performed really, really well. With the right amount of power, a good amplification, good signal, uh, these things absolutely devastate and they are one of the best shallow subs I've actually experienced. No wonder this subwoofer outputs so well. There's so much R&D that's gone into making these perform as well as they can be. And there's lots of different technologies such as moving the magnet inwards into the basket, which gives you a minimal depth, a stiffening the suspension, which gives more control over the woofer. So all of these technologies contribute to an amazing outputting subwoofer with minimal size and depth requirements and makes it a great product for many different applications. People come to me asking for small subs and instantly their question is, what about an under seat sub? Are you looking for proper deep chest thumping bass? Because unfortunately a small under seat sub or even the larger ones can't reproduce that kind of bass properly. You're gonna realize that you were really missing out on some certain really low frequencies or even more punchy bass that you didn't realize it was that punchy. This outperforms any under seat sub I've ever heard. So let me jump out and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Hertz MPBX box. I mean, one word to say it's fantastic. It's a really, really good bit of kit. Nothing else really like this on the market at the moment, especially at this price point. There's something that's gonna give you the amount of output that this does in the small package that it does. Like I say, it really doesn't use a lot of boot space at all. You've still got room to put stuff behind it, beside it, on top of it if you need to. Um, and like I say, it performs like a dream. You can't really go wrong as well. I've already installed this into vans, into SUVs, into normal hatchbacks. Every single customer has been over the moon with the output on these. Okay, so you may be wondering what amplifier you'd want to pair this with. Now, what I would probably recommend to you is to stick with the same brand and go for the brand new Hertz DP 1.500, which is their new Dietschy series of amplifiers. It's perfect power for the subwoofer. It doesn't take really thick gauge cable. It's not a huge amplifier and it's really, really good price point. So we'll put all the links in the description below for all the products so you can check pricing. These are available at the moment on our website, carreadysecurity.com as well as the amplifiers and any other accessories you're gonna need. Okay guys, so that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.